Jose and his wife, Tammy, came in to uh, see me and be- ended up becoming clients as they needed help with their uh, retirement portfolio and their retirement planning and that sort of thing. And as we went through their planning, uh, we discovered that Jose and Tammy were going to end up, uh, uh, were in line to inherit uh, quite a bit of money as uh, in the future. They uh, have not yet inherited it, but uh, they're in line to do that. And they also had some grandchildren that they wanted to provide for as well. So kind of, we're kind of looking at the three generations here. And so um, through that, we uh, prepared them to be able to be in a position to be able to take care of money that they may inherit, as well as taking care of their grandchildren by, um, in their case, they decided that they wanted to invest, especially in some Roth IRAs, so that their grandkids could have that money available uh, for education or other things that they need. But they also uh, did exactly the kinds of things that we're talking about here as far as sitting up and taking care of the purpose for their money. Uh, Jose had a, a very good pension, has a very good pension coming in. So they've got uh, the income that they need there, but they had set up their IRAs to create income, taking advantage of opportunities that are presented uh, to be able to increase their chickens. And thus, when they increase their chicken, increasing their eggs and being able to provide um, tax-free monies for their kids and for their grandkids, um, tax-advantaged money through life insurance and some other um, methods that they have available to them and being able to receive when it comes time to receive the inheritance in a way that will benefit them and that they'll be able to pay the least amount of taxes as pro- as possible as time goes on on that front. I'm Andrew Adjami. And I'm Daniel Adjami, and you're listening to Financial Strategies. Today, our conversation is about a new year and new opportunities. Dad, uh, that, that story really strikes the importance of multi-generational planning. Right. Um, right. And, and the full picture of not only um, the diversification between, you know, the guaranteed income, the promised income, you know, investing for, for growth, trying to get those asymmetrical return assets, um, but also to to look at the plan ahead of time. If you're going to be receiving, if you're going to be receiving inheritances, who you want your money to go to, when you want the money to go to, uh, then and the tax strategy behind all of that, because there are ways that people can transfer money to the next generations uh, tax free. Right. Um, you know, you could use stocks for that in a way, but you don't know what the value of those stocks will be. So, you know, maybe if you have a ton of money, that's that's a good strategy for you. Um, but a lot of people like the guarantees associated with. Um, with cash value, life insurance, and things like that, permanent insurance, because that that you know what your inheritance will be, you'll know what your your legacy transfer will be. So that's a way that a lot of people um, like to pass on wealth tax free. Yeah, exactly. And you know that's interesting, Daniel, because uh, uh, you know call that life insurance, and I'm sure to some of the people in our listening audience that's going to uh, send uh, uh, shivers up their spine, uh, because uh, one of the things that we always talk about here on financial strategies is the importance of definitions. We use words, but what do those words mean? And today, life insurance, the terminology life insurance, gets thrown around uh, as, uh, but really, what's being talked about is death. Death insurance. It's something that's going to pay upon your death. And uh, many things that we like to focus on is the life benefits of life insurance. That's why it was originally called life insurance, because it has life benefits, benefits that um, are, are pertinent to the person that has that policy. And then when they're done with the policy, sure, there are benefits for the legacy aspect as well. So it's a way to get, be able to get a lot of bang for your buck. And in today's uh, economy, it really provides great opportunities for people to be able to get tax free regrowth, stable without um, market fluctuation. And, you know, depending upon when you started it, um, I mean, we have a client getting 6% tax-free in one of his plans uh, from that standpoint, which it would be uh, in his tax bracket equivalent to eight or 9% taxable. 
so that's uh, that's just the life portion of that. So it's uh, very interesting that when we're talking about all these different things, like in the case of of Jose and Tammy, that um, being able to diversify is very significant because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, from the biblical standpoint, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, eleven one two says, "Cast bread upon the water. After many days, it'll come back to you. Give it under seven portions, even eight, for you don't know what disaster will fall upon the land." So uh, it's important to be able to diversify because you never know what's going to happen and be able to uh, diversify in the form of, of investments, um, in the form of taxation, in the form of strategies. So I want to l- let you folks in the audience know that you're listening to Financial Strategies with Andrew and Daniel Ajmi. We have a companion piece to go along with today's show. This one is called The Seven Risks to Your Retirement. Seven Risks to Your Retirement so that you can be aware of the things that are happening and uh, know what you don't know. That's what we're all about, helping people know what they don't know so that they can be prepared for what's had to make smart decisions. Well, you can have that piece, Seven Risks to Your Retirement, by calling 800 725 Seventy-six, sixteen, eight hundred seventy-two, five, seven, six, one, six, and uh, you listen to financial strategies with Andrew and Daniel Edgemy. Today's topic is New Year, New Opportunities, Part Two. You're talking about um, the life insurance having life benefits. So uh, you know a way, a way that um, even especially for young people who have a difficult time understanding this is it it provides an opportunity account. So if we said to somebody, would you like a liquid account that, that grows at four to 5% interest? We'll just say four, 4% interest. Um, It's liquid. It's safe. It provides you with free death insurance and potentially long-term care insurance that brings us into the longevity our, our next topic, the longevity conversation, because um, you need to be able to protect your money from catastrophic loss. So for a portion of your money, that works very, very well. It's beating inflation. It could potentially provide, if you set it up properly, long-term care insurance. So if you ever need to use that, that death benefit while you're living to take care of expenses, living expenses, um, it, it provides a lot of things. So, so let's roll into this. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the longevity, um, aspect, um, here. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, one of the things that I, uh, do know about people, I don't know anybody that has on their bucket list that at the end of their life, that they want to go into a nursing home and finish their life in a nursing home. Right. Um, uh, I don't know anybody that, that wants that. What most people want to do is be able to, when it does come time to die or when they move into their, you know, from their go-go years and their slow go years into their no-go years. They want to spend their no-go years in their home as opposed to a nursing facility of any sort. And uh, that's what happens as we're living longer. Um, you know, the, the possibility for a male, a man in his mid fifties uh, to live into his nineties is a one out of three possibility. And for a female to live that long is 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 she has a fifty percent chance of of living into her nineties in, in the middle fifties. So people are living longer today. We have many more centurions today than we have ever had, and so that's why it's so important to be able to take a look at this longevity aspect and what that what that means. Now, some people say, "Well, I don't want like, I don't want long term care insurance." Either. Well, I'm not talking about long term care insurance. I'm talking about planning for your longevity. I'm talking about the future. Listen, the first thing you need to do in my opinion, is have a conversation with your family, with your loved ones about how you want to be treated when it comes to the slow go years or the no go years and come up with a plan of how that works. Now, some people might want to insure that using long-term care insurance. Well, that's fine. If you don't, you're going to insure it you know, by self-insurance through your assets. The key is making sure that you have enough money to be able to stay at home for the rest of your life. If you don't, you're going to have to be put into a nursing home to be able to have somebody to take care of you because you don't have the money from that standpoint. And I, like I said, I don't know anybody 
that has that on their bucket list. Well, I see, Daniel, that it's coming time for us to take another break. Boy, this time is just really going by so fast. We're going to come back and talk more about longevity. You're listening to Financial Strategies with Andrew and Daniel Adjami. Today's topic is New Year, New Opportunities, Part 2. We have a companion piece to go along with today's show, which is Seven Risks to Your Retirement. Seven Risks to Your Retirement. And if you're the next one of the next five callers, at 800-725-7616, we've got the book, Three Blind Mice by Scott McLean. Three Blind Mice, 800-725-7616. Call now. I'm David Scranton, founder of the Retirement Income Store. If you're in or near retirement, are you certain you have the right retirement plan in place? Do you want to help ensure your nest egg will last you all throughout retirement? Take our retirement review quiz and find out in five minutes or less if you're doing everything you can to achieve a more successful retirement. Visit us online at adjami.com. That's A-G-E-M-Y dot com. <laughs> 